I want to remind all Canadians that they should avoid non-essential travel outside of our country until further notice. Canadian travellers should return to Canada via commercial means while it is still possible to do so. Let me be clear. If you're abroad, it's time for you to come home. All Canadians, as much as possible, should stay home. By staying home, you can not only protect your health and that of those around you, but ensure that our healthcare professionals and our healthcare systems can focus on those who need their help. This is an adjustment for all of us. We know that staying home is an important step to protect the community and each other. We all have to do it. First, we will be denying entry to Canada to people who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents. This measure will carve out some designated exceptions, including for air crews, diplomats, immediate family members of Canadian citizens, and at this time, US citizens. Second, air operators will be formally mandated to prevent all travelers who prevent symptom, present symptoms of COVID-19 to board a plane. Air operators will be required to complete a basic health assessment of every air traveler based on guidance from the Public Health Agency of Canada. This means that anyone who has symptoms will not be able to come to Canada. I know this news will spark concern among Canadians traveling abroad. I want to assure you that our government will not leave you unsupported. To help asymptomatic Canadians return home, our government will set up a support program for Canadians who need to get on a plane. Canadian travellers will be able to get financial assistance to help them with the costs of returning home or temporarily covering their basic needs while they wait to come back to Canada. Third, starting Wednesday, March 18th, only four Canadian airports will be accepting international flights. Toronto Pearson, Montreal Trudeau, Vancouver International Airport and Calgary International Airport. At this time, domestic flights as well as flights coming from the US, Mexico, the Caribbean and saint pierre et miquelon will not be affected. The travel restrictions announced today will not apply to commerce or trade. We will continue to ensure the supply of important goods to Canada. We will make $10 billion available in additional support for Canadian businesses. This is a tool that has worked before in difficult circumstances and we're confident that it is going to work again. The economic impact of this pandemic is shifting hourly and we recognize the stress and anxiety that it is causing. As I've said, we are prepared to see Canadians through this time. We will have additional measures to announce as early as tomorrow to support Canadians, particularly our most vulnerable. Right now, provinces and territories are facing different realities and risks, which means taking steps that make sense for people in each area. At the same time, we also need to keep building an aligned Canada-wide approach. On Friday, I held a telephone meeting with the Premiers and Deputy Prime Minister Freeland, and information has been flowing continuously since. We've been in constant communication with the provinces and territories so that there are no barriers between our jurisdictions during this critical time. The COVID-19 Response Fund also includes support for Indigenous communities. On Friday, I spoke with First Nations, Inuit and Métis Nation leaders to discuss the work we're doing together on preparedness and mitigation efforts. Minister Miller also provided an update on our regular coordination with Indigenous partners, as well as the provinces and territories. Minister Van Dal has also been connecting with the territories and is working on exceptional measures to protect the North. We are making sure that everyone, no matter where they live, is prepared. Uh, this uh, situation, as everyone knows, has been evolving extremely rapidly and the recommendations of public health and public safety have been evolving as well. At every step, we've taken the best advice of our public health officials uh, and now is the time to take this particular step. It is a significant step. Uh, it is a step that we take in exceptional circumstances, but it is the right step to be taking today.